As you see, I have approximately two and a half thousand products and more than 800 orders. Let's imagine that I would like to clean up my shop a bit. That means delete all the failed orders or completed orders from specific date. Doing that one by one would be a tedious job. And therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with a couple of clicks. Now, in order to do that, go to the plugins, add new and search for store toolkit. This one here. Install and activate it. And after that, go to the WooCommerce store toolkit menu. As you see, there are a bunch of options here. For example, if you press on empty tables, then it will delete everything. It nukes everything you have. That is products, categories, orders, and so on. And you will end up with an empty shop. If you would like to reset your shop, then this is a way to go. If you would like to delete products by product status, then click here. You can choose. Same goes with the products category. Delete orders by order status. Delete orders by order date. Or empty WordPress tables. That is, you can also reset the WordPress if needed. What I usually do is I'm going to go to the Nuke menu up here. And here I can select what is it I need to be deleted. Whether it's all the products, categories. And if I scroll down, I see that there is a delete orders by order status. I'm going to delete all the failed orders here. So let's remove it. OK. Now, depending on the data amount, it may take a bit time. For me, it took approximately 10 seconds. Just to confirm, let's open up the orders here. No fail orders. Awesome. And in a similar way, you can delete orders based on the order date. All orders from previous year, for example. Just choose the dates. Remove. OK. And you're good to go. Now, if we talk about products, then you can choose it here. Or choose by the status or by the category. Pay attention, though, that if you delete the products, it will not delete the images attached to the products. If you would like to know how to delete WooCommerce images after deleting the product, then I have made a separate video about it, the one you see on the screen right now. If you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video. I'm going to put the link to it. But yeah, fairly simple to use. Just select the ones you would like to delete, remove, sit back, and relax. Word of caution, though. Before you do anything here, I suggest you to make a backup of your site. I'm using the WP Vivid plugin. It's easy to do. Just press on the Backup Now button. If you need to restore something, then press the Restore button. WP Vivid has a free version and it also has a pro version. Yearly package, lifetime package. If you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you can use a discount. Now, if you have any other good tools you use and you would like me to know about them, then please let me know in the comments. But before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.